absolutely extraordinary that what we have had here is legislation introduced into the parliament on Monday, so the referred to a committee, then a truncated debate, standing order suspended so that we are now dealing with the finalisation of the bill before the committee has actually met and considered any of these issues. And the farce is exposed mm -hmm. by these six amendments. Six amendments. You know why these are being moved? Because Anthony Green, in his blog, picked it up on Monday that under the government's legislation, it is possible that the Senate might never have been counted. There was no time frame for the counting of ballot papers for the Senate under the legislation that they just voted for and the Greens and other some crossbenchers, except for the member for Kennedy, to his credit, just voted for as well. You just voted for a second yeah, yeah. reading of a bill yeah, that had no one. provisions for the actual counting of the ballot papers. That's why these amendments are here. That's why this legislation should not be rushed through, because Lee Rhiannon and this bloke and a few other Tories sat in a room and decided what was good for Australia. And I'll tell you what, the member for Kennedy from time to time says some very wise things. From time, not always, but from time to time. But he was absolutely spot on here, because what the parties are trying to get around is the fact that some people inconveniently don't vote for the Labor Party or the Liberal Party or for the Greens political party. The solution to that isn't a fix. The solution to that is to win support for your arguments in the community. And if you try and if you try and fix that through a manipulation, which is what this is, in order to say, well, you don't have a right to go out there and form a minor party. You don't have a right to go out there and campaign for a minor party because we'll ensure that your votes are excluded. Then I'm afraid, I'm afraid these amendments expose how bad this dirty deal is. Now I'm of the view on the record very clearly that I believe in being in a party of government. I believe in being in the Labor Party as the progressive party in Australia that can form government. That's why I've never been interested at all in being part of a minor party or being an independent. That's where I come from. But I respect the fact that others have a right to have a different view. And if you disagree with people on the crossbenches, go and talk to them. I was leader of the House in a parliament that had 70 votes out of 150, and we didn't lose a vote. Not one. 595 pieces of legislation. Treating people with respect here and in the Senate. Treating them like adults. Well, this isn't treating people like adults. This is a fix. This is a fix done behind closed doors and rammed through this parliament, rammed through this house, and it'll be rammed through the Senate. And guess what? They're foreshadowed a double D election. What justification is there for that, apart from allowing these people to avoid handing down a budget like they did in 2014? To avoid scrutiny over the privatisation of the Australian Rail Track Corporation. The privatisation of Medicare, the privatisation of education services. That's what this is about. That's the ramifications of this legislation. So I say we should reject this legislation. We should reject it as a parliament. And we should reject it in part if you're not sure, if you're just not sure that maybe they've got all of this right, then there should be proper scrutiny. And these six amendments, six amendments, 48 hours after this legislation was introduced, show, show why this shabby deal should be rejected by the people of Australia.